So I just heard a statistic. <clears throat> Barth Brooks, oh, I'm sorry, Garth Brooks, the white trash king, or the trailer park king, you know, either way, uh, is worth between 300 to 500 million dollars. And he got this from uh, living the life that he lived. Um, I remember the 90s. I remember when he came up. Basically poisoned the whole world. It was the uh, catalyst for a flesh pot um, cheating uh, phenomenon that just went viral. Because that's what his music was really all about. It was about cheating. Uh, that's all the thunder rolls and the, the dance and all that. It was all about cheating, which I told people way ahead of time. I said, you watch, Garth Brooks is a cheater. Oh, no, 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 he's a good guy. He's a blah, blah, blah. He's a country singer, da, da, da. And surely enough, like the rest of my predictions, came. it went right on the money. And uh, he ended up ditching his faithful wife and running after uh, Trisha Yearwood like a dog in heat. And uh, I guess that's probably what was on his mind the whole time he was writing his music, I guess. He had the hots for Trisha Yearwood. He was a whoremonger. And I remember all these, all these people that I knew or knew, you know, was associated with one way or another, uh, cheating on their spouses, cheating on their significant other. And the influence of Garth Brooks was huge at that point. It crossed all the barriers. It wasn't just country and western music. He crossed all the barriers. And now he's worth 300 to 500 million dollars. Um, maybe I should say he's grossing. He's, he's grossed 500 million. Grossed. But uh, he did that, you know, being a catalyst for wickedness. Meanwhile, there's individuals like you and me um, have, you know, not focusing on money, not focusing on investments and all that. We made some bad, like I did, just made some bad decisions financially because that wasn't our focus and for the last 25 years I've been living in an old rental house me and my wife have been happy living there taking care of the animals that come to the pond and live around the woods there and uh, now we're looking at maybe you know not even having a house in two years I don't know what's gonna happen keeps me awake at night we live pay literally paycheck to paycheck and uh, you look at examples like Ashley to Shields, either living paycheck to paycheck or in debt, going through all kinds of medical procedures, pain, physical suffering. And she's doing this while being an excellent Christian woman and taking it with an excellent testimony for God at the same time. You know, um, but look, the conclusion is, and I'm going to take a different approach here. We could talk about the rapture. We could talk about heaven. We could talk about different things. Look at that tribulation. When's the last time you opened up your Bible and read about that seven-year tribulation that's coming up? Everything you read about, it's not parabolic. It's not uh, symbolic, most of it. Most of it is absolutely real. It, it, made ex, it ex, exactly the way it's described. Demonic creatures coming up out of the pit that uh, are like scorpions and sting men for what, five months. All of that stuff is real. It's real. It's going to happen exactly the way the Bible says it. it's going to happen. And people like Barth Brooks, oh I'm sorry, Garth Brooks, uh, people like that with their $500 million are going to be in that mess either suffering through that tribulation or they'll have to give up all their money, all their 500 million, their mansions, their everything they own 
in a day if they don't want to take the mark of the beast and then they have to die as a martyr and they don't get the body you and I get they, even if they make it through the tribulation they don't get the resurrection body like we do they uh, they get a, a normal body and then they have to eat off the tree of life eventually to live forever but they get a natural normal body you and I that are saved now living for Jesus Christ and we go in the rapture we get a, um, uh, a glorified body a glorified body which is just absolutely amazing and we get that forever so look it's it's hard for me and it's it's hard for a lot of you but we have to remember I have to remember and that's part of what this video is here I have to remind myself so I'm preaching to myself as well as to you. We have to remember we're on the right side of things. And uh, although we haven't grossed 500 million being a dirt bag, we're still on the winning side. We are still the rich people, really. And uh, remember that tribulation. Maybe you should crack open your Bible tonight get, when you get home from work, whatever, before you go to bed. Read about that tribulation. Read about what all of them are going to go through and you're not going to go through because you're saved. I'd encourage you to read about that. When's the last time you read about that, tri that seven-year tribulation, what they're going to go through? So I would just encourage you to do that. All right, now I'm going to go pick up... Uh, some garbage in the rain. <laughs>